what is good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you all how to do this liquid explosion effect on my light motion this is my second video on the subject but this method is way faster and easier than the last one so stick with me now first what you'll have to do is have your normal clip right there and your masked clip right there so once you have these both you're gonna have to duplicate your masked clip and you're gonna select the one that is underneath like so now what you're gonna do is add a new effect and go on distortion and click on turbulent displace like this now what you're gonna do is click on the R and just make sure that um, that the distortion is centered on your character so just as you can see there's like a little portal going on there just make sure it's behind the character's back by playing with the offset like as you can see it's it's really well centered and you can now put the strength down now let's say i want the distortion and explosion to start right there so you'll have a new keyframe there and i want the explosion to stop there so add another keyframe there and in the second keyframe you're gonna actually put the strength of the distortion up like so and don't forget your graph because it is always better with a graph so it does something like this now what you're gonna do is add a new effect again go on distortion fractal warp now what you're gonna do is directly putting the magnitude down so what you're gonna do is add a keyframe at the same place you wanted the distortion to start right there and just scroll a little bit further in the timeline and put the magnitude up like so and don't forget your graph also now what you're gonna do for a smoother result you can still decrease the octave levels octaves levels like this and you'll have something like this you see and if you're not satisfied with the result you can still put the strength up again and also play around with the bias to see what you like i like a bias in a negative like this since it fill up the screen a lot more so now when, once that is done you can actually start the coloring and i almost forget don't forget your graph on the fractal warp because it's always smoother so what you can do is add a new effect go on blur gaussian blur and put the gaussian blur all the way over the older distortions like this and what you can do now is go and color and light hue shift and just start playing around the colors pick a color that you like I like this one and just put the saturation up a little bit and you can also add a glow to it if you want to color and light click on soft glow and put the brightness brightness up like this as you can see the effect is static after the explosion so to fix this you'll have to go back to the fractal warp effect and go on position now what you're gonna do is put a keyframe at where you want the explosion to start and now go at the end of your clip and add the second keyframe and just put the y axis all the way up like this so there's a subtle movement like so so yeah this was the effect really simple faster than last time hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like the video leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel and also subscribe to my instagram and if you're a highlight motion artist don't hesitate to buy my pack 
link on description and see you in another video